Hey, I'm Salman with ClickX. Today's marketing hack of the day. We're talking about 15%. It's not the car insurance commercial Geico we're talking about, folks. We're talking about 15% of search queries are new in Google every single day, every single month, every single year. I wanna help you understand this, so let's get started. Marketing hack of the day is brought to you by ClickX. Understanding that 15% of search queries are brand new, how does that help your business? Well, I wanna help you understand where to go find new keywords that are unique to your website. I'm gonna help you understand that and where the opportunity lies for your business. Obviously, with us talking to our phones, right? Siri or OK Google, or we're talking to our, our devices in our homes, whether it's Google Home or Amazon Echo, all these things are gonna capture new terms, right? New queries that has never been searched before. So I can understand why that is 15%. Back in the day, it might've been 20% or 50%, but now it's only 15%. Now, where can you get this data? Where do you go understand it? What can you do as a marketer to capitalize on that? That's what I wanna talk about. The first and foremost tip is that inside all of your marketing analytics, there's a lot of queries that are in there, right? You gotta start mining the keywords that are in your Google Search Console, right? That's the first place to go and see what do you show up for. Inside Google Search Console, you have search analytics and start looking through the keywords that you have. The other place to do it is in Google Analytics. Inside Google Analytics, you have the keyword section where people actually punched in certain keywords. Obviously, I would say a high majority of it is not provided by Google, but there's quite a lot of keywords that you find. You might have to go back two years and find what are all the terms that attracted traffic to my website. That's a great place to start, to start mining them. Start copying and pasting those keywords and say, hey, do I still rank for these keywords? Do I still have content for these keywords? Another great place to go to is your Google AdWords. As you're buying keywords, as you're buying hundreds and maybe thousands of keywords, you wanna go to the search queries that people actually search and how that connected it to your you know, ads that you're running, right? So we integrate at ClickX with Google AdWords, Google Search Console, Google AdWords, all these places for this very reason. We wanna mine the keywords. We wanna go back as much as we can, right? Maybe a month, a year, maybe two years. We we literally, through API, download all the queries, analyze them, and we wanna start compiling them to a keyword list, and that's the first thing that you wanna do. Because once you have that, you can now start to think about creating content around it. Whether you wanna create social content, you wanna create on-page content, you wanna create just literally an infographic, you wanna make all sorts of other content, you need to know what are they looking for, right? You could even be creating video content. It doesn't matter what kind of content, but you can't create content if you don't know what they're looking for. Specific to your industry, specific to your niche. So, first off, work on that. Go understand what those keywords are, it'll take you a little bit of time, but we definitely have made it easy for our clients and our platforms, really simple. That's what we use for us. That's the first thing that I would do. Once you have that, like I said, start creating content at scale. You start creating how-to content, you start creating FAQ content, you start creating video content, start creating infographics, doesn't matter. It could even be audio content. Like I said, content is king, right? So, so think about what you can do to create content. Now, a lot of people just start creating the same content over and over. So if you already have certain topics covered in your website in a certain page, I would urge you to go back and add content to that page than to just create more and more pages about the same thing. So I'm gonna use an example. Let's just say that you're a plumber, because I love that. I love using plumber all the time. I use plumber all day long. So if you're a plumber, uh, you have a page already that covers your plumbing services or you have five different plumbing services, you covered all of those in five different pages. So are you gonna create five more pages about the same thing? No, I would actually work on updating the existing pages with additional content, right? You might wanna be embedding a video into it. You might wanna be adding some photos. You might wanna be adding some customer testimonials. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you wanna be adding more things to that content because that's what's gonna help you get all these search queries. So um, I have examples of so many different pages that we've created over the years or so many different queries that we showed up for on the first page of Google. Uh, and these are the terms that, that, that helped us, whether it's how to content, what is content, it's where, it's everything in between, right? So that's the first thing you wanna be able to do to get those unique long tail search query. So again, with these 15%, I don't think these are short term. 
Uh, with these 15% of unique terms, I don't think these are short tail keywords. I think they're all long tail, right? They're long tail utilizing maybe five keywords and five plus one would be six keywords. They're just putting really long tail keywords into Google and it's Google's never seen before. So you wanna be creating really long tail keyword in your content repository. You wanna be creating really long tail keywords in your FAQ content, your how-to content. And maybe you start adding questions to your content that you already have so that you can connect that dots with the people that are searching for it. So long story short, do you need to create more content to capitalize on it? Yes, where do you go get that? You already get that from Search Console, Analytics, AdWords, all the different tools that you already have from Google for free, right? You already have the information. The fact of the matter is you're gonna have to spend some time digging through it and figuring out what are these keywords and how do I utilize that? The easiest content to create is to, to utilize your blog that you already have to your website and start answering those questions as much as possible. Go back and look at your old blogs and see, can I add some more content to this? That's the first thing you can be doing. And start doing that and think about the new queries that you're seeing in your Google Analytics and see if you're addressing those queries inside your content. You don't just have to create a new blog post for every query, you can really go back and update existing ones, similar topic and enhance it. Trust me, the longer the word count, the higher the chance of you showing up on the first page of Google. There's been a lot of studies done in this matter and the longer the word count, the higher the chance of you showing up. So there's definitely a lot there but you're gonna to have to get really into that process and work your butt off so that you can keep adding more content, enhancing, spruce it up a little bit, add more visuals, add photos, add videos. Go back to the existing blog posts that you have, figure out how you're gonna enhance them, but try to get all of your content to 1800, 2000, 2200 word count today. That's the, the number that you wanna focus on today. In the future, you might be talking 3600 words, right? So right now, it's around the 2K range. So focus on long form content. These are evergreen content that you can continue to use, right? Keep adding to them, add visuals, right? Add photos, enhance them as much as you possibly can and stick those questions that you start to see in your analytics throughout them so that people can find the thing that they're looking for. They might even do control F. They might just search like, oh, where does this, this keyword in this content? I do that a lot. I go to a long form content, like where is this thing that I'm looking for? Because you wanna find the thing that you're looking for faster. So again, focus on that to get the traffic and then help them identify the answers for themselves so that they can go back to what it is that they were doing uh, in the first place. At this point, you are probably already seeing that Google is showing answers already without you going to have to go to a page. So this makes it even more important for marketers to understand that I need to answer my people's question, right? I need to answer, I need to give them the answers that they're looking for. And if you can't find it, look at other places like Quora and Yahoo Answers and everywhere else that people are already putting questions and then start to develop a keyword list and work on that in your own website. So long story short, without creating content, you're definitely not going to achieve these search queries that are coming in, right? And also, these are long tail keywords. So you gotta focus that they're not gonna be short tail. And let me tell you why I love long tail so much. The, the, the competition is so much lower and the conversion is so much higher. So if you can focus your attention on spending as much of your effort on creating those kinds of terms, there's no reason why you couldn't win in this game. I hope I gave you some insights into what you can do with this statistic that 15% of search queries are brand new to Google. That means that there's so much more opportunity for you. Maybe you're not ranking for that short tail keyword or maybe that geo you know, specific keyword for your website, right? Maybe you're, not, maybe you're not ranking for that local keyword, right? Maybe you're not ranking for that short tail keyword, but you have so much more opportunity. You really have to scan and look through your own analytics that you already have for free because you're buying thousands of dollars of paid ads or you already have visits to your website that Google Analytics and Search Console is all giving you. Work on reverse engineering that data and making sure that for every time you get an impression, even in organic search, that you should definitely be the site that they go to. I hope you got some insights to what you can do with new queries that Google has even seen yet and how you can utilize that to get more traffic for your website. Thank you for watching another edition of Marketing Hack of the Day. Three, <laughs> two, one. Subscribe to my channel. Click X, helping businesses increase traffic generate leads, and close deals.